Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah and today we are back on the island playing some Ark with the Ark Redemption mod. If you guys do enjoy these videos, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that little notification bell next to the subscribe button to get all the notifications. Um, anyways, so today I think it's time for us to do a little bit of upgrading. I've been out collecting some meat and stuff. And uh, so I've got a bunch of meat on here and I have a bunch more in the spoiler. But the most important thing here is I have 2,809 raw prime and the reason we need that is the way you tame alphas on this Ooh, what is that theory up there i could use oh no stupid bronto come on what are you i do want a really what or do want a really nice high level one 300 no i'm waiting for like 500 plus to get another one but i anyways so, the way you tame alphas is you knock them out and take their DNA, and then you put it in what's called the DNA replicator, and then you can, uh, make, create one. Um, I love the music from the meat spoiler. That's awesome. Alright, well, let's actually grab that and get some more narcotics going. Uh, let's just throw it all in one for now. I already have a bunch in here, I think. There we go. Perfect. Because we need lots and lots of narcotics, like crazy, crazy amounts. So, uh, how do you make the DNA replicator? I'm not really sure. Oh, no. Do we have to make it inside of a bench that I don't have created? Let's see. What does it say? Crafted at the ACA bench. So first, let's go ahead and figure out how to make the ACA bench. A. C. A. Bench. Hide. Metal ingots. And cementing paste. Uh, we don't have that much cementing paste. We do have a little bit. Hide, we've got a plethora. And metal. Bam! Done! Also, once we get a couple of alphas, I want to look for a Terra and then some kind of meat eater. There have been a bunch of Carnos running around, and I think uh, if I can find a high level one of those, that would be cool. Perfect. And let's throw this sucker, because we have no organization in our base at all, right here. Okay, now let's see what it takes to make the DNA replicator. But after we get a couple of those, then I really want to start working on the base. Metal ingots and crystal. Ooh, heck, we might, we might be okay on that. Heck yeah. Now, I believe this sucker is big. Uh, let's just throw all the stuff in here so I don't have it in here. No, no, no! Cancel! Dang it, what did that take? No! Ugh, I don't need that. There's nothing I need that for. Just wasting metal. D. N. Now I'm short on metal? Really? Uh, do I have metal anywhere? Come on! What a bummer. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And let's get a little bit of wood to light this sucker up. Not that much. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this stuff in to a forge, get enough metal to make that DNA replicator, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and made the DNA replicator, and I believe this sucker is massive. So let's go ahead and check it out. So. Oh yeah, it's pretty big. So originally I was gonna put over here a like greenhouse or something, but what I've realized is that we have the kibble table and so it is unneeded. So instead we'll use this spot for the DNA replicator. See how that looks? That thing is huge. All right, we definitely need to line that up. I don't know, like way better. A little more this way. Let's pull it out. We go this way. Maybe line it up with the front of the base. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, just like that. It's kind of nice, does it stick in the wall on the other side? Or we got a little gap? Oh yeah, it does. We're gonna pull that out quite a bit, actually. More than I would like, but... Hey, whatever works. So, I mean, I guess it does have to hold dinos and stuff. I can't see the other side. Is it out? Do we have a gap? Oh, I think we have a gap. Let's do a little more just to be safe. I'm gonna throw that sucker right there. Bam! Look at it, it's massive! Alright, where's our one pteranodon with an actual saddle? Let's fly around and take a look. So I guess we actually create dinos in here, using DNA, like Jurassic Park, because we're awesome. Can we fly in? How do you get in there? Hold on here. How does this work? Important info. First off, put the DNA you want to get, then the thousand raw prime meat. That's why I was getting the prime meat. Okay, then just press start. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay, so put lots of prime meat in there and go get us ourselves a freaking something to kill. So, I'm going to take out our Pteranodon. Let's go ahead and throw any levels we have on him into stamina, because that's the only point. And I want to get an Alpha Pteranodon, and I want to get an Alpha 
Carno. Now, I did make some of these super arrows. We have the red ones, which do 31,000 torpor, plus our bow, which does 445% damage. So, assume these are doing like 130,000, 140,000 a pop. Um, I did see a really good high level Carno over here, so hopefully he's still there. We can. I don't know if they wake up super fast either, so we have to knock him out, uh, get the stuff, and get the heck out of there. Um, but let's check it out. I did see both. A, I saw a good level Terra earlier over here as well. So we're looking for a Terra. We're looking for a Carno. Let's see what we can find. All right, guys. So I've spotted an Alpha Carno level 540. It's got 600,000 torpor. So it should take me five of these darts. I made nine. Plus I got some yellows. Oh man, there's lots of dangerousness happening over here. I don't like. I was gonna try to shoot him from up here. I'm also really okay. Right, just fall off come on i was also worried about losing missing shots and losing darts um because they are super expensive but we do have more narcotics being made it wouldn't be the end of the world but it would be the end of the dart okay let's try it okay like that what a massive freaking waste and now i can't see him great oh good oh no no, 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 no. Leave me alone. I have great armor. This is, you're not going to be able to kill me. Look at that, zero. This is why I wear armor, even though this mod thing, both thing will just one-shot you. Come, can you come over here, Terra? I'm not going to waste a dart on this stupid raptor. Come here, let me get on! Okay. Come on. You want to fight? I just worried about that Carno coming up and murdering us instantly. Ugh, stupid raptor. Okay. Um, how do we want to do this? I think on top of the cliff is probably our best way. But there does seem to be some danger up here. Alright. Stay still. Don't want to waste any more. We already wasted one and that's too many. Got him! That's one. Okay. Oh no, does the torpor die on super fast? Can't tell. Ah! Okay. That's right, we got this. Come on. Stay still! Man, I think I'm, all his torpor is already gone. I'm just too, I'm so nervous to lose these darts. Get stuck, bud. I really want to see if his torpor is going down crazy fast. But I can't because the stupid pteranodon's in the way. Oh, it's going down for sure. Two. Okay. Three. All right, here we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Stay still. Oh, I missed. Full. All right, go to sleep. There we go, that should do it. Let's take a look. And he's down! All right, let's go. Okay, don't aggro the fairy. Don't aggro the fairy. Don't aggro the fairy. Alpha Cardo DNA, we got it! Now let's get out of here. All right, so we have it. Does it have a spoilage timer on it? It doesn't, so that's awesome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this DNA back home, um, and we're gonna hatch this sucker, or breed, or grow, or whatever it is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get it back, and back to base, and I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, we are back to base, and we're gonna go ahead and grab all the prime meat. Let's grab half of it. I don't wanna waste it all. This said it should take about 1,000, and I'll put 1,400 in here. That should be more than enough. Let's throw in the Alpha Carno DNA, throw in the raw prime meat, and let's start the process. Let's take a look at it. Oh, good little baby Carno. Hello, little baby Carno. Okay, how long is it gonna take? It says 3%, so it's actually gonna be pretty quick. All right, so I'm gonna let this do its thing, and we're gonna watch the little tiny baby Carno, and it's gonna grow up, and we're gonna have ourselves a little awesome, amazing Carno. Oh, level 440? I thought one was 540. Well, whatever, I'm sure it's still awesome. All right, guys, this Carno should be done cooking in just a second here. And, uh, is it, did it eat all the meat? Oh, it certainly did. It definitely does take a full thousand. All right, is it done? Okay. Oh, oh, there he is. 
Okay, let me take the rest of this meat out and um, come over here. Where you, ah! Okay, sit. Let's go to the stats. We've got 300,000 health. Oh, level 660, you came out higher. Okay, so that was like, a pre-tame level that we saw. Uh, an insane amount of stamina. Oxygen, food, sure. Uh, weight, melee damage 631 and movement speed. So we need to make a saddle for these guys, I do believe. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what that's gonna require. Man, that spirit freaking Bronto is all up in my way. I need some, I need some organization and base finishing. Look, I've got big old holes in the ceiling and stuff. Okay, so I'm guessing you make it in here. Carno saddle takes just some more metal ingots. Luckily, I've got some stuff cooking up already, which we actually need to get more metal pretty bad. Unless I, oh wait, do I already have one? Carn, oh, I have a blueprint for one, for a strong one, which would be great, but right now let's just focus on, ah, uh, just one at a time here. Okay, so let's just make a regular one. We can always upgrade it in the bench. Alpha Carno saddles, craft it up. So we're gonna test this sucker out, but then I think we're gonna go out and find ourselves a Alpha Pteranodon. I heard they can pick up any dino that's pick upable, so they can even pick up doads and ankies and mammoths and stuff. Um, and that would be awesome for us, because we need to start getting more resources and metal and everything. Oh, stupid spirit Bronto. All right. Alpha Carno saddle. All right, let's go try this sucker out. I'm usually not a huge fan of Carnos. I like they're a little, like, more agile than uh, Rex's, but let's see. 8,000 damage. All right, that's not bad to start. Okay, we need to kill some stuff for sure. It's so hard to hit things with Carnos. <laughs> that's what's the biggest problem with them. It's hitting things is insane. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and find some stuff to kill. Um, hopefully something decent. If I do find something good to kill, I'll bring y'all back. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? There's been so all those water dinos, like those super out-water dinos that have been, like, stuck right up in the water. Uh, maybe we'll kill some of those. If I see one, because they give good experience right off the bat, and uh, this guy can definitely take them out. And this guy's doing four times, three, four times as much damage as my fairy was or is already so we'll see anyways i'm gonna kill some stuff get some levels and i'll bring you all back all right guys as i was out leveling <laughs> my car no i didn't run into this pteranodon check it out level 500 heck yeah let's take it we should all get out in one shot yep <laughs> give me that dna beautiful now we're actually gonna kill it too because why wouldn't i die sucker so this Carno has gotten super insane, and I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like. So I got him up to 400,000 health, 1,000% uh, melee, 2% movement speed, and he can move. Look at him go. Oh, are these more? Wait, are these regulars? Or those are regulars, not alphas. All right, so now I guess we can actually have perfect timing, because now we can go ahead and take this stuff home and uh, hatch ourselves a Terra, which I'm super excited about, because I hear they can go fast, unlike the regular Terras, which can do nothing in their useless garbage. So, oh, actually, we're almost home right now. Here we go. Oh, oh God, we're stuck. Um, so it seems like the alpha guys only eat prime meat, which is kind of a pain. Oh, look, another one of these. That's great. Thank you. I don't care. Um, I don't know how many times we can level up dinos after we tame them. Because I didn't set it up. But it seems to be a lot, because this guy was 660, and he's already at 800 and something. Um, oh, plus, I've been getting, I don't know, all the levels. I mean, holy crap, look at that. I'm level 237 now. I think max level is like 259 or 260. All right, let's park this guy right here. Let's go ahead and grab that prime meat. And let's throw this in here with our new Alpha Terra DNA and start that process up, and I'll bring you guys back when it's done. All right, guys, any second, our new Alpha Terra should be done. Let's see what level is he gonna be. It's 460 now, so it'll come out as 680, I think, or something like that. Um, but he should be done in just seconds at 98%. Uh, do we have more prime meat left? We sure do. Not quite enough for another Alpha, but, oh, there he goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down there, let me grab the rest of this prime meat. Um, so I don't... Okay, let's look at his stats. Okay. 136.5% movement speed, but we can up that 65,000 health. Lots of stamina. 8,000 weight. Perfect. This guy's gonna be awesome. Um, let me go and throw this meat on the spirit walker just to hold it. Or the, uh, fairy. Where is it? You hold on to that. Um, and you just keep following me while we go and see what it takes to make your saddle, because I didn't check. Let's see. 
Pteranodon saddle. We need one alpha heart and some fiber. Pfft. We got alpha hearts. Heck yeah. Oh, we got six in our inventory. And fiber, fiber, fiber. We should have a ton of it. F is for fiber. There we go. Let's go ahead and craft this sucker up. All right, alpha hearts and fibre. Patera. Awesome. So I'm hoping this guy goes super fast. Um, and we might end up upping his weight actually, because I plan on using him to like carry an Anki or a Doed or something. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's go check it out. All right, all right. Chill, 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 chill. All right, sit. There we go. Oh, he doesn't, he's not all glowy orange like the guy, other guy was. What is what's that about? Uh, where's the saddle? That, I, yep, opened the wrong inventory. You, saddle. Nope. Stupid spirit pronto. All right. Ride! Okay, so he's not, he's not slow. Um, how much damage does he do? Where's something we can attack? Hey, not bad. Um, but he's not really someone I really want to level up by killing stuff. I have a, I should have a ton of experience potions now. Let's put them on passive. So let's go ahead and grab, they should be on the Carno, because I just killed a ton of stuff. What? Oh, I've got two in my inventory. Let's, let's use one of those, see how much it does. Why is he not all, like, shiny orange like the guy I knocked out was? That's kind of a bummer. All right, let's use a large. Heck, let's use the medium too. Bam. Bam. All right. So that's how many levels we get from those things. 40 levels! All right, so first, speed. We want a nice, fast Terra. Let's try it now. Obviously, we're gonna want faster than that. Let's try 250%. Oh, I feel like I'm starting to be able to actually move and stuff again. Oh, it's been so long since I've been on a fast bird. <laughs> okay, so we may up it a bit more. Um, what's his weight at? 8,000, can we get that to 10? Sure can. And uh, more in the weight. All right, so this, so I believe this guy can pick up dinos. How do I do it? Okay, that's right, it's been so long. All right, where's something we can pick up to test this out with? Oh, I love being able to move at a reasonable pace. That's so amazing. Okay, where's something? We oh, let's gamma down first. So I want us to look like an Enki and Doid and stuff. That'll probably be in the next episode. Uh, for now, I just kind of want to test him out. Ooh, look at that shiny Argent. I think I need one. What level are you? No, no, can't see anything. Exalted Argent. I don't know if we're ready for anything that's called Exalted yet. All right, but what's something that can be picked up? This is a really dangerous area to be in, actually. Um... Come on, something. Okay, down here has got to be something. This is the spot. Now, I don't want to make him too fast. I probably already did, because uh, I got too excited. But, okay. Let's try to pick up that uh, patchy rhinosaurus. Gotcha. Okay, so that's good. Uh, where's something bigger we can pick up, maybe? Uh, what about a... Oh. Well, that guy just got knocked out. A mammoth, maybe? Or can he pick up a Paraceratherium? I don't know, but nonetheless, he's pretty dang awesome. I don't want to... Oh, okay, can we pick up a Paraceratherium? Uh, no. Okay, but let's kill the Paraceratherium. <laughs> so we're first prime meat to feed this guy. Awesome! Oh, I love having a good flyer. I can't wait till we can get an awesome Quetzal, too. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy back to base. And, oh, hello, Mr. Quetzal. What level are you? Level 80? I think we'll kill you. Should only take a couple hits, right? There you go. Give me all meat. Perfect. Uh, where's home? This way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy home, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so we have everyone back to base. We got our Carno, we got our Terra. Man, we got a lot of good stuff done today. Um, these are definitely some awesome guys. What? Oh, that's the wrong Terra. Here we go. 
Alpha Terra. There he goes. I'm super stoked on this guy. He's going to be awesome. He goes fast, which is amazing. Um, anyways, guys, for today, I do think that is going to be it. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and hit that notification bell if you have not done so already. Um, you can also check me out on all your social medias, your Twitter, whoa, a little bit of lag, your Instagram, your Facebook, even your Google+, even though nobody ever uses it. And check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash obadix. I also have a tip jar set up to Streamlabs, and the, the uh, link is in the description below. Anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.